it takes a lot more than most people realize and a lot of time too. So uh, Katharina, we got to talk about this the other day. She has a company that she's worked for in the past. This company here, so first of all you want to write that down, go back and look at their website, rogueinvestor.com. Again, get as much free information as you can. Don't go sign it up for a whole bunch of stuff. I'd be willing to bet you that any one of these places that have $3,000 worth of tapes and CDs and whatnot can be bought off of eBay from somebody that's done with it for 25 bucks, you know? So uh, check that out. And then also uh, what's coming up is this tax lien workshop. Katharina just sent me an email on this because we've been discussing this. And so you want to write that down, taxleanworkshop.com. And there is a free webinar from the company Thursday, November 5th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's at 4 our time. So write down that URL. Go back to register and get the free seminar on the tax liens and just have it be part of your portfolio. I'm not saying just go do tax liens and forget everything else. But I'm saying there's the right time to be doing this and the right time to be doing a lot of other things. And this should be something that you know. I actually did it. I, I went to Maricopa County. Okay. Uh, and uh, it, it was uh, they 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 only sell the tax liens on a certain day. You know, you, you have to show up for the tax lien sale day. Right. And you get to, to look at the list ahead of time, but then it, there's an auction. Right. It's an auction basis. So there's some bankroll that show up there, and they're, they're not interested in, in giving, you know, well, you got $5,000, you got $10,000, you got, you're not, you don't have a chance, right? because this guy will come in and, and just tell you, I'm going to outbid you. Right, exactly, and that's going to happen, so what I'm looking at two things is, one, I want to look at over-the-counter things that did not sell, and I want to look at how can I do this via email, fax, telephone, internet, and not have to drive to a place or go anywhere. If I can do that, then I'm in the game and I'll play. But I don't want to spend a whole lot of my time driving and showing up at different locations to get outbid by people who are just like the bank. You know, I got five billion, you're out of here. I'm going to hold it up until it's gone, you know. So it's going to be... Another thing that we're going to have to figure out, well, where can we go? How can we do this to actually make it happen? And that's going to take some education and some digging and some time. But that's one of the reasons that we're here to network is for people who do make a little advance to let other people know and see where it goes. We had Dustin Hahn here. I don't know if anybody was here when Dustin Hahn was here. He's here in Santa Barbara and he took a group of people to Texas for tax deeds. About $3,000 for the trip. I think that uh, I had a lady in Texas get back to me and I said, well, check out uh, the Rogue Investor. She did that. She got with him. She was very happy. So, you know, it, there's a lot of places that we can go learn this stuff and deal with it. The question is, are we going to take the time to do it? So, uh, I just want to check this and make sure we're still on here. Right. Right. Exactly. He knows that county. He knows a lot about that. And when I had, when I talked to this lady and said, "Well, you know, sure, um, talk to uh, Dustin. Go look at Rogue Investor. Weigh the pros and cons. Let me know what your choice is." She got back and she said, "Oh, I'm going to Rogue Investor. They're big. They're great. I really like them. And they're coming to Texas." And that's what she did. So you know, we now have a contact with somebody who's been through their program. And, you know, if you wanted to do a tax deed, we could contact her and say, would you at least go out to the house and check it out? And we could pay her for that, you know, because you've got to give somebody something for spending their time. So the more contacts we make like this, the more possibilities we have. I mean, she could even go bid something on a tax deed in Texas for us if we did our homework first. So we got a long road on both the wholesaling and the tax liens to figure things out. You know, it's a matter of uh, how much time we have. If you're a full-time investor, hopefully you're not going broke, barely making it. 
but if you're working full time someplace, if you can figure out the tax liens and spend some money there, you're going to spend a whole lot less time when the money's sitting there giving you 25% than you are going to be dealing with all these properties and all the money you've got to throw at them to keep it going. You know, I can see you doing tax liens to where you build up enough money that you go, okay, now I've got 50000 I'm going to go buy one property and continue on with my tax liens. Or I did some wholesaling and I got 50000 now I'm going to go buy a property and go back to wholesaling the tax liens. You know, it's a combination of where you can afford to spend your time and where your interest is. I think with uh, tax liens, you actually, uh, with the options and stuff, you bid on like the interest rates. Like you bid down. Exactly. Yeah. And, they'll, and they'll bid it down to the point where you're going, that's so low, why do I even want to spend my money there? So you got to watch out for that too. Yeah, so there's a lot to be learned here. There's a lot that we've got to dig into to figure out if we can spend some money there and make it worth our time. Because all of us as investors are going to run out of money. We're going to have to have partners. We're going to have to do something like wholesaling, whatever. You know, it's just the way it is. I just wanted to mention that I think the guy that you're talking about is Ken Ray. Housing Yes, 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 Housing Alerts. Housing yeah, alerts. He, he, he was charging he was charging the price, but that's who it was. Housing Alerts. Stop talking. Housing Alerts. Ken Wade. He, he tracks the uh, values in the market. He had a software program that was tracking uh, the value of houses and whether the market was uptrend or downtrend, and, and he actually gives you buy and sell points. Now that's why it's great to have network of people and brains here. Thank you, Dean. You don't have to go back and Google that one to death. Dan, we were talking about the, the, you know, the, the property managers and stuff like that, and I think in fact it is Dave Lindahl, I think. He does do a course on managing. Yes. Managing the managers. Yep, yeah, he does. Um, it's a, uh, yeah. it looks pretty Dave Lindahl's great. He is. Yeah, he's, he's not cheap, but he does. Yeah. Uh, he knows the business more than anybody. Right um, now, and Andrew said that he's seen some people go through the program, and they're making money. They've spent maybe five years learning how to do this, and he looks at them and goes, "Gee, they don't seem that right to me, but they're doing it. They're making some good money." So yeah, you yeah, know. Serious money. There's people uh, like five years from the outside. I've seen And these guys, you know, I go to I do a lot of real estate seminars and things like that, and they're mostly just kind of most people. But I was impressed with the, the, the wealth level of some of these people that are right, multi-millionaires, yeah. yeah. making, making serious money if they're doing this. Um, yeah, I'm talking about and they're not. Rocket so, scientists. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like a lot of them can't even figure out the numbers. They partner with they partner with somebody who can figure out the numbers on stuff. And one person who gets in one person. Yeah. Teamwork research. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. You know, if there was anybody to spend time with uh, multi-unit apartment complexes, Dave Lindahl, and he's not cheap, but uh, he is probably the best that there is out there. <coughs> if you want to head that direction, he's approaching ten thousand units. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. So I think it's just over seven thousand. Yeah, he just had a, a couple uh, ago. He just had a, a Eastern European, Eastern Europe, oh, for really? um, one and a half billion dollars for acquisitions in that. Not sure, one and a half billion. Good sure. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Well, I'll just spend my money. Yeah, that's the toughest thing. That's the toughest thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that could be a bulk REO package if ever I heard so. Yeah, and I'll tell you, the whole thing about those bulk REOs is, and this is one thing that I think the cities have to get smarter on, when the mortgage company has the REO, the, the properties, in their hands, they foreclose on them, they'll sit there for two to three years, because the property that I've got in Ohio was a Bank of America property. It sat there for two or three years, no pressure, nothing happening, degrading the neighborhood. Then came along easy access as a bulk REO dealer and grab it up. As soon as you are a bulk REO dealer and grab it up, the city comes on you like a hawk and says, you got 200 properties, those lawns need to be cut down, the places have to be fixed up, we're going to find you, and they're on them like crazy. Well, the city should have been on the Bank of America like crazy. The city should have not let the Bank of America even sell that house. They sold it to easy access for 500 bucks. They probably knew all about it. 
Yeah. You know? I just talked to a, a guy, and this is an interesting strategy. This guy bought a building in Vegas that's been, because when you talk about this, you know, holding on to buildings forever, they're empty. This building has been empty for two years in foreclosure. It's an apartment building, something like 100 